Philadelphians are heading to the polls today to vote in a crowded Democratic field. Nine candidates running for mayor, but there are five top Democratic contenders, former city council members, a former city controller, and a business owner. The winner will face off against Republican David O in the fall. He's unopposed for the Republican nomination. For more on this story, Democrat Malcolm Kenyatta joins us now. He is a Pennsylvania state representative who represents part of Philadelphia. Good to see you, state representative. Thanks for taking the time. I grew up in Bucks County, just a little bit north of your district in, uh, in uh, the North Philadelphia suburbs. So I've been following Philly politics for years. I've been following your career. But I can't follow yet who you're endorsing or supporting in this primary race. So who are you backing tonight? Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm backing 8 p.m. when this race is over and whoever the winner is, we can get to actually the business that's at hand of addressing some really critical issues here in Philadelphia. You know, like so many communities across the country, you know, we're dealing with um, an uptick in gun violence and what that means for communities being and feeling safe where they are. We have a real issue, uh, Robert, with uh, our schools that have closed because of asbestos, which is closed. Um, I believe we're at seven different major schools that have been closed down for the remaining uh, for the remainder of the school year um, and possibly beyond. Um, and I think we have a morale, uh, you know, crisis where you know we've had a mayor for a number of years now who's made it clear he's ready to go. And I think that rubs off, you know, on a city. We need a chief executive who is excited and ready to do this job, who has a vision for moving for moving this city forward. And, you know, as you had the graphic up, I think we have a very close race between, you know, five pretty well-known Philadelphians. And when you think about the Democratic Party in Pennsylvania, is it moving in the direction of Philadelphia politics, moving towards progressive Democratic values? Or is it moving more toward Josh Shapiro's, uh, which he, he's progressive on many issues as well, but he's more of um, uh, at least centrist in his, his tone and persona and his policies. Where do you see this all moving, state representative? You know, listen, I will tell you, I travel around the Commonwealth a lot. Pennsylvanians are, are common sense people. And you, you see it all across the Commonwealth that you have, you know, conservative Democrats who, who, who win, you know, self-described moderate Democrats who win, and a lot of energy in terms of progressives um, who are winning races as well. Um, I know we're on the East Coast uh, talking about Philadelphia, but there's a very interesting race uh, for county executive out in Allegheny County, where Pittsburgh is, where, you know, very possibly one of my colleagues, Representative Sarah Anamorato, um, could become, I believe, the first woman, um, and certainly, you know, a progressive uh, voice out in Allegheny County. And so I do think that there is a, you know, a generational shift of millennials like myself and Gen Z really getting engaged in the process in ways that they have been uh, before. But I think across the board, Pennsylvanians are very common sense people who want to know that the people who represent them are focused on fixing the things that they are concerned about and making Pennsylvania the best place to live, raise a family, and ultimately retire. I'll be tracking that race in uh, Allegheny County for sure. Also, we're keeping a close eye on a special election being held tonight in Delaware County, Delco, that could determine control of the State House of Representatives, and that could have real implications on abortion rights and restrictions in the state. How do Democrats see that election? You know, I think that this is one that we're ultimately going to bring home. This is a Democratic, uh, you know, district. The special election um, has seen a lot of interest, including President Biden, who uh, recently endorsed uh, Heather, who's running in that in that race. And you're right. This is a make or break in terms of abortion access here in Pennsylvania. Um, we have a, a quirky constitutional amendment, uh, a quirky constitutional amendment process, as you are well aware, where you have to pass a constitutional amendment in two successive legislative sessions. The governor does not have the ability to veto those constitutional amendments. Republicans passed last session uh, in the dead of night uh, a constitutional amendment to effectively ban abortion. Folks like Doug Mastriano and others who are leaders mm -hmm. of the Republican Party here in Pennsylvania want to see that come back. And so we're going to do everything to make sure Heather wins. Um, and we brought in a lot of big guns, including President Biden. So I think that we will um, get this over the finish line, but it's absolutely a make or break issue for the Commonwealth here. Real quick, State Representative, you are a rising voice for progressive Democrats in Pennsylvania. 
Do you have any interest, any consideration of running for the Democratic Senate nomination in 2024 against Senator Bob Casey? So I'm going to be supporting my friend and our Senator uh, Bob Casey, but I have announced I'm going to be running for state auditor general against uh, Republican Tim DeFore next year. So, so I, I plan to be on the ballot running with the President Biden, running with Senator Casey. Um, but listen, we have a strong uh, ticket of folks that, that we need to generate the type of enthusiasm and turnout. It's not just going to make sure President Biden wins, but that we send Senator Casey back um, and that we continue to do the type of common sense things that I think Pennsylvanians want to see done. And that's why we rejected, you know, somebody like Doug Mastriano, who if he runs, I'm telling you, he'll be the Republican nominee. Well, many Democrats I know in Pennsylvania certainly want uh, Senator Mastriano to run again. We'll see. Representative Malcolm Kenyatta, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.